Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel where we discuss all things related to Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. If you are planning to upgrade from Microsoft Dynamics now to Business Central, you are in the right place. In this video, I'll be discussing some best practices for a successful upgrade. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you that I have a Business Central playlist with many more informative videos. So don't forget to check it out along with my busy mini projects and busy interview questions. Now let's get back to the topic. Upgrading from now to Business Central can be a complex process, but it needs some important key points to be considered. So let us see all these key points one by one with the better example wherever it is possible. I will definitely give you some best example for that. So the very first one is plan your upgrade. Okay, so what is the planning your upgrade? So you have to develop a clear plan. So you have to develop a clear plan for your upgrade, including timelines, project goals, resource requirements. And you have to evaluate the technical requirements for your existing NAV solution and the compatibility of the add-ons and customizations that you have implemented. So this is very, very important. You have to plan it very properly. And the next important point is what evaluate customization requirement. So assess the customizations that you have made to your nav system so you have to assess that okay and determine which ones need to be re-implemented or upgraded upgraded for business central so which one you need to be re-implemented after you upgrade to bc after you start to start working with the bc or which one to be upgraded okay so Evaluate the available extensions that can replace ex existing customization and identify any gaps that need to be addressed. So I, I wanted to show you a simple, very simple example. Okay. Suppose let's say that you have a now customization that uh, adds a custom field to the customer card. Okay. Uh, in nav you would have uh, uh, added the fee this field in to the customer table and then added the field to the customer card page so here is an example a simple example i have just shown it okay so to upgrade this customization to business central you would need to use extension instead of modifying the base application because customer is a base object which we already have it in business central okay so um what we can do is you can simply create a new extension that is in business central create a new extension to con to hold your customization you can do this by using the extension wizard in visual studio so you can simply create a table extension add the custom field to the extension in your new extension add the custom field to a new table extension object so this is what the example for that okay so you can simply add the extension okay so this codes extends the existing customer table and adds a new field called custom field okay then you can add the custom field to the customer card page in your extension add the custom field to the customer card page by using a page extension object as well so that is possible with the page extension so similarly you have to write a page extension and you can either use it add last or add first okay and publish and install the extensions once you have added the customization to your extension publish the extension and install it into your business central environment you can do this using a extension management page in the business center and another important thing is what you should avoid modifying the base application okay so uh, try to avoid modifying the base application in your uh, uh, nav instead you can use the base application like an event subscriber which is there in business center okay so like if you have a uh, start you can create a new extension and you can uh, avoid modifying the base extension by using an event subscription uh, in order to uh, customize your code okay so this is also a possible thing so this is i'm just showing the sample so you can use it if you want okay and the next one is what test your upgrade okay so uh, create a testing environment to validate your upgraded solution before deploying it to the production you have to create a testing environment before going to the production part before you have to just validate it okay so that is important test your solution against your business process 
and ensure that your system is configured correctly you have to ensure whether the system is properly configured or not okay and the next important thing is train your users this is very very important thing so um, business central has different user interfaces than nav okay now if you have already worked with, actually i haven't worked with nav so but i'm very really familiar with the business central but if you have worked with nav you have to just make yourself very familiar with the business central because it has so many interfaces than nav okay so it is important to train your users if you are an organization if you are owning an organization or if you are uh, managing a team then you have to just make your team members or users to uh, get uh, get used with the nav interface sorry business central interfaces okay so, so in order to do that you have to train your users on the new system create user manuals you can create a user manual and training material to help your employees adapt to the new system and you can also provide ongoing support as needed okay whenever they need you can provide ongoing support until they uh, they become very familiar with that the next one is work with a partner so partner in the sense here uh, you can work with a microsoft partner okay so consider working with a microsoft partner who has experience with nav to business central upgrade they should have uh, upgrade they, they should be experienced in upgrading nav to business central so they can provide guidance on best practices so they will be providing uh, uh, guidance on the best practices assist with you with the customization requirement and help ensure the smooth migration so this is very very important okay and the next one is take advantage of new features so because you know business central has many new features that weren't available in nav got it so what are the various uh, uh, availability i'm just showing you few important features like improved report capabilities enhanced security features and ai powered insights so these are all the few highlighted uh, points that ha that bc is having so take advantage of these features to streamline your process and improve your business operations so that is very very important and finally you have to keep up to date like uh, for example business central is a cloud based solution because you know like cloud based in the sense there will be often there will be some changes happening so even business central they'll be releasing twice a year okay they'll be releasing upgrades they'll be releasing a new feature twice a year which will be available to us in the form of wave one and wave two so cloud based solution which means that it is continuously updated with new features and improvements so stay up to date with these changes and take advantage of them to improve your system over time so this is very very important so out of this you have to plan and decide so these are all the very best practices that you have to follow okay so if i have missed out something so please let me know please comment it so that uh, even i will come to know like i will learn and even everyone will learn if you feel that all the uh, all the important points guidelines i have discussed then please leave s yes. okay so uh, if you have any questions or queries please feel to leave them in the comment section below i'll be happy to help you don't forget to like share uh, this video if because many will be benefited out of it so thanks for watching thank you take care bye bye